All right, I'm going to do a quick overview of this guy right here. And it was sent to me as a test piece from Cody Rose, Mr. Codeman Rose. And it's something he wants to make a product and something I may or may not invest in some sort of plug and play harness. I don't think the, the price point is going to make buying it with a harness worthwhile. Uh, the boards are retail, I, I think last he figured out was about $75 to $100 a piece. And that's depending on the final construct and whether or not it comes with a, a pin header and a connector. Uh, you know, it, it's all kind of up in the air. But essentially what this does is it's a CAN bus in and out device. And it does flex and dial straight into it. And it has three ground outputs that you can fire over CAN bus also. So for a lot of people, this alleviates some of the, you know, mundane but necessary I.O., like cooling fans and flex and the dial. And then, you know, there isn't much left. So this offloads the flex and the dial and leaves you those two inputs open. And it also has uh, slow update speed ground outputs to fire relays. So uh, I've been testing it and it does work great. Just wanted to do a quick uh, voiceover update for that. Let us know, uh, both Cody and I, what you think of this and if you think it would have some value there. And I contemplated making some sort of uh, pass-through connector for this that connects to my existing harnesses, uh, if possible, because obviously you don't want to have to buy and sell uh, tons of these harnesses. So... Let me know what you guys think about wiring it yourself or if you need a harness and all of the above, etc. Thank you. All right. Look what we got here. So we got the dial and we got the can outputs. So what I did to double check this is this is the can input for the dial. And when the dial gets to a quarter, it turns on one, two, and then 75 and up is the other. So... We turn this, it's taking the input and turning the LEDs on, 75%, between 50%, down under 50, under 25. And it works great. You can even see, uh, see if I can get all this at once. Dial is at 13, you know, there we go, one, two, and three. So all three ground outputs are working great, all based off the dial input also. All right, I got your board right here. I followed simple instructions. I made a can dial dialog and I wired it all to this and made some removable things. So we turn the dial and we get uh, percentages and I really like how you conditioned it. It's, it's smooth. See, the other ones are very jumpy, like you said, and they can even jump uh, decimal points. But man, look at the, the smooth resolution on there. Dink, dink, you could do like 1% if you wanted to. Do do, do do, do do. So yeah, working great. I'm gonna, I don't have a spare flex sensor, but at least that's working. And I'm going to do, see if I have an LED array to do one, two, three outputs, but I have no reason to think it won't work, but we're gonna test her anyway. All right. Look what we got here. So we got the dial and we got the can outputs. So what I did to double check this is, this is the can input for the dial. And when the dial gets to a quarter, it turns on one, two, and then 75 and up is the other. So we turn this, it's taking the input and turning the LEDs on 75%, between 50%, down under 50, under 25. And it works great. You can even see, uh, see if I can get all this at once. Dial is at 13, you know, there we go. One, two, and three. So all three ground outputs are working great, all based off the dial input also.